Look ye where the sun doth rise. See crimson embers, darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall. See azure lost amidst the squall. Hello and welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to hit that like button because that really helps us out. Right, no point waiting around here, is there? We should head back to Limsa Limsa. Alphano said to be at the ferry docks, I think. We're pirates! The name of this quest is not without incident, so that doesn't bode well. You are returned, Burr. I trust you learned much from our Dolmen friends in Revenant's Toll. I am eager to hear all, though that can wait until we have left port. We will have time enough to talk on our journey to Kugane. Our spice trading friends have completed their preparations. Assuming you have completed yours, you may inform the deckhead that we are ready to depart. What do I have to tell him? All set, lass. I'll see you to the ship, if so. Board the misery. <laughs> Twelve be praised. Full sure was I that I had come too late. Oh. Rionge! Tell me you haven't come all this way just to see us off. <laughs> Nay, my lady. Ere you quit these shores for eastern climes, I wished to share some words of seeming import. Look ye where the sun doth rise. See crimson embers, darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall. See azure lost amidst the squall. Um, what? Well, that sounds suitably foreboding. Another one of your prophecies, I presume? Like, that's not the nicest thing to leave with? Of far eastern origin, I. It is mine earnest hope that this ancient wisdom may serve to guide you on your journey. For what dangers lie in wait for you upon those distant shores are yet beyond my knowing. Oh, a parting gift befitting your roundabout ways. Thank you. I have more than words for you, my lady. Oh, snap. <gasps> it's so pretty. It's beautiful. Is it for me? Though undeniably powerful, your ethereal blade taxeth you greatly in the wielding. Not so this rapier, which shall serve you just as well against all but the most formidable foe. Impressive. It feels as though it's attuned to my ether. I shall treasure it. Honored guests! Say your farewells, for the moment of our parting draws nigh. A fair wind blows, and I mean to follow it. It would seem our ship is set to sail. Pray give my regards to Thancred and the others, and take care. Oh, it's like old school RPG. That's so fun. Uh oh. Go into a whirlpool? The heck.
A fine day, is it not? Fair winds and following seas. The misery is enjoying herself. Nevertheless, it would not do for you to spend the entirety of our voyage above deck. Let me show you to your quarters. Not under normal circumstances. Oh, no. Captain! You need it on deck! Something queer's afoot. The winds died down, the waters went still, and all of a sudden, we were dragged off course. Oh, no. Dragged? By what? <sighs> Can't rightly say, sir. But some of the lads are muttering about seeing things in the water. Things that shouldn't be there. Oh, for the love of... If you will excuse me a moment. <sighs> Actually, might I persuade you to join me? Loath though I am to admit it, I have a bad feeling about this. What was your... <laughs> you have a bad feeling. <laughs> but isn't this kind of normal for you? It's a wee bit foggy. Ooh, odd. Most odd. Well, do you have any idea what's going on? No. As the man said, despite the absence of wind and current, the misery is somehow being pulled off course. Well, why not fire up this ruling of engines you have hidden below? An excellent suggestion based on knowledge you should not have. Alas, our engines appear to be malfunctioning for reasons that escape my engineers at present. I'm telling you, Captain, it's them things the lad saw. What's his face? <laughs> things! I don't suppose I could convince you to attempt something more descriptive? An adjective, for example. Enough sassy. Sea wolf superstitions and fairy tales, not more. But if you must know, the things which he is so reticent to name are the souls of deceased women sent to lure sailors to their deaths. Preposterous! <laughs> yes, indeed. If it is neither the sea nor the weather which is responsible, then it is probably a predatory entity of some sort. Perhaps a siren or some such. For all we know, it could be a fellow spice trader employing magics to seize and plunder passing vessels. Regardless, we have but one recourse, to let the current take us where it will and deal with whatever we find there. What a thoroughly pragmatic suggestion. Oh, I am beginning to like you, girl. Once we arrive at our destination, my crew shall remain with the ship to defend it while we venture forth to deal with the cause of our troubles. Then it is settled. I know not what awaits us, but it will rue the day it reeled us in. <laughs> Question mark. This is the first dungeon of the Stormblood, right? Yeah. A few moments later. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a little freaky. She's kind of pretty too. This one's for you, Ada. <sighs> we did it. Yes, thankfully that wasn't too bad. Sorry, put to the microphone.
That appears to be the last of them. Word from the misery. Repairs are complete, and we may resume our journey without further delay. I swear, if I never hear another ghost story, it will be too soon. He's so cute. I love Alfie. I remember the sea, the smell of the salt, and the crash of the waves as we drew closer to Kugane. Outsiders in Higashi, across the Ruby Sea from Othgar, from Doma. All the colors of the rainbow, all the peoples of the world, all in one place. I wish you could have seen it. It's so cool. <laughs> Congratulations, you now stand in Kugane, the western port of Higashi. Regrettably, the only port in the station open to foreign trade. Oh, and I do apologize for the unforeseen difficulties which befell us during our journey. Needless to say, your assistance in overcoming them was much appreciated. Glad though I am to have arrived, I would remind you all that we are far from home with limited resources at our disposal. Duly noted, brother. I shall take care not to enjoy myself. In any event, Doma is our final destination, and our first order of business should be to secure passage there. Captain Carvalin, I realize you pledged only to take us as far as Kugane, and I have no desire to change the terms of our agreement. I should, however, be interested to know how you would go about reaching Arthur were you in our position. At the risk of stating the obvious, you are in a port. Surely there is a kind of generous soul here who will aid you for the right price. You cannot be the first traveler seeking passage to Doma. The captain makes a good point. Tis like that Yugiri and Gosetsu were forced to come here for the self-same reasons we were. They must have found a way to Arthur, assuming they are not still in the city. Hmm. Ere we seek passage, mayhap we should first seek our friends. Leave it to me, Alphanode. Making friendly inquiries is my specialty. Lest you forgot, uh, forget, I got plenty of practice in Ishgard. Captain Carvalin, could you direct us to the nearest tavern? Desperate for a drink, are we? You may find one in that large building just beyond the pier. Whether your journeys have come to an end or are about to begin, the Shiokaze Hostelry is an ideal place to rest, relax, and reflect, or so they say. And with that, my dear Zions, I bid you farewell. As soon as we have replenished our supplies, we must away. Ours was ever a fast-moving business. The spice trade, you mean? But of course. Surely you don't think I traveled halfway around the world and delivered you to your destination solely out of the kindness of my heart. Perish the thought. Thank you, Captain, and may the navigator watch over and keep you. Huh. <laughs> You're so funny. Right then, to the hostelry. After you. So cool. By the twelve, I thought Ishgard remarkable, but this, we are certainly not in Eorzea anymore. <laughs> a tavern is a tavern, Alphano, here or anywhere else. Silly, silly, silly. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to do what I do best. She go get crook. <laughs> oh. A, a thousand.
thousand pardons, my lady. The signs of the seventh Which dawn, cool, I presume. Gare. I hope your voyage was not too trying. And you are. Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. <laughs> Hancock of the East Aldenard Trading Company, at your service. On behalf of Chairman Lollorito, I bid you welcome to Kugani and invite you to take refreshments at our local offices. I don't trust him. Lollorito? <laughs> I was aware his interests extended beyond the borders of Eorzea, but not so far as Kugani. Regardless, I am disinclined to accept the hospitality of grinning merchants, especially those who serve a master with whom we have such a difficult relationship. My, such <laughs> naked suspicion. I do hope that business with the Crystal Braves did not rob you of all faith in your fellow man. Or do you really think the Chairman is plotting to drag you into another one of his grand schemes? I beg your pardon? If you are trying to win my trust, you are failing quite spectacularly. Yeah, this guy sucks. Oh dear, have I offended you? Oh my god. Once again, I must apologize. Too much time in the Far East, you see. One is compelled to talk in circles round everything here, and one <laughs> finds oneself longing for the invigoratingly candid speech of the Uldan markets. Though, I see now that this was neither the time nor the place to indulge said longing. Yeah. Seriously? Seriously. Might I suggest that we continue this conversation at the company offices? Too many eyes and ears here, you understand. It would be decidedly reckless to say any more. If I may favor you with the invigorating candy you apparently crave, it would be decidedly reckless to follow a man I neither know nor trust. Give me one good reason why we should accept Lord Lollorito's invitation. Now there's the young diplomat I was told to expect. Very well then, I shall explain. You understand that you are come to a most reclusive and secretive nation, yes? One whose borders are close to foreign trade save at this single port. Then it should come as no surprise that a great many parties have vested interests here. Merchants like myself are a given, of course, but for every one of us, you may be certain there is also an agent of a foreign government. Many notable nations and empires have embassies here, you know, including, of course, the Garlean Empire, with whom you have such a difficult relationship. To paraphrase, Kugani is teeming with Imperial spies, one or several of whom could now be listening to our every word. Something to that effect, yes. Beneath this veneer of bustling trade, a war for supremacy is being waged between world powers. One might say we were standing on the front lines, just not in public. I still have my doubts, but he may have a point. I say we accept his invitation for now. And you must be Berlin, slayer of gods, rider of dragons, savior of Ishgard, stealer of pants, Huh? Stealer of pants? When did we steal pants? <laughs> Some of the more puzzling rumors are to be believed. I knew it! May I say what an honor and a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance, my lady. I just know you and I are going to get along famously. Now then, without further ado, allow me to escort you to the company offices. This being your first visit to our fair city, I shall make an effort to point out various landmarks along the way, if you would be so good as to follow me. Everyone, if I could have your attention, please, you are now standing in Tinkanto. Loosely translated, the name means Spire of Drifting Souls, which, as some of you may have deduced, makes reference to the etherite which stands over yonder. Oh, the design is markedly different from those of Charlay, and yet I trust its function is identical. A diplomat and a scholar, will wonders never cease? Far Eastern etherite technologies have a long and storied tradition, I assure you. This particular example was constructed by the Ani Shishu, a collective of skilled craftsmen who guard their ancestral techniques with the utmost secrecy. In short, you will find it no less reliable than its Western counterparts. A tune, if you like. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help 
gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.